Right, so we got to the capital. Uh, Ashnard wasn't there. Kind of, uh, I mean, we technically conquered it, I guess you could say. It's just that it conquering it serves absolutely no purpose. This is not uh, any kind of like strategy game uh, where you lose your home, your capital city, and it's all over. No, none of that. Unexpected good news arrives. I know what it could be. I guess we're gonna find out. Ah, reinforcements. I guess that is good news. Ah, well, you might recall that when uh, the Empress sent us out, she said that with, uh, with the Prime Minister away, there was a limit to how, uh, to how much military force she could muster uh, for our cause. So it's possible that, you know, maybe he returned and now we've got more troops on the way. Earl of Cadol. Uh, okay. Earl Zelgius. Oh, see, my suspicions were correct. Uh, Seferin has returned. Ah, on top of being Prime Minister, he's also part of the Senate, of course. Wow, it took them half a day. Uh, to get those senators wrangled. That's pretty impressive. That's heartening news, right? Oh boy. I mean, I don't want to rip Soren. I don't want to roast him by calling him a wet blanket, but that seems like Well, Titania is doing it for me. Uh, but he does raise an excellent point. Right. All the soldiers we got from Banyan before were marching under... Well, are marching under... Crimea's name. It's the Crimean Liberation Army. Uh, these are Banyan forces. Marching as Banyan. That is the crux of the problem. If Banyan beats Crimea, then... Oh... 
really the case here. If Crimea, or if Banyan beats Ashnard, then Banyan uh, gets to control how uh, Crimea gets rebuilt. Now, that part I don't think Ike cares about, but probably the part about Alencia being turned into a figurehead of a, of a princess, or I guess soon-to-be queen, uh, that part probably doesn't sit right with him. And this is, well, this is Soren being fairly reasonable, all things considered. I mean, he's right. He was the only one who's had any kind of suspicion about Nasir, and Nasir turned out to be, you know, kind of a traitor who may have caused more harm than uh, Ike realizes. So... That's what Soren does. He does look for these ulterior motives. And Ike being level-headed and reasonable, he's like, you know what? Soren's raising a good point. We should talk about it. Uh, anyway... Good battle report. Alright, let's get some info going. We're gonna talk to a youth. They call him youth even though he's... He's been traveling with us all this time. Uh, it's Jorge. He's the guy who buys your items for him. But he wants some advice. An enemy in your his way, but he doesn't want to kill him. What should you do? stupid game that's definitely not a uh, Fire Emblem's equivalent of Fire Emblem, the game. Ike, please. Don't convince the civilians to take up arms when they're not prepared for it. There you have it. If you there's an opponent you don't want to kill who's in your way, just shove him out of the way. Now, since that was a two-star conversation, you can bet that that is advice for this chapter. How is it going to be relevant? Stay tuned. Let's see what Soth is up to. We haven't seen him since uh, we found him on the ship. background info. He's from Dayan. And in fact, he's from the capital city. Well, they're probably right. Thank you. 
Well, okay. Um, about all I have to say about that. Uh, still don't have any good supports going. What's up with that? Uh, skills. I picked up some skills, didn't I? Uh, Alright, I know I picked up parody. Uh, parody is... Yeah. Uh, so, support bonuses, terrain bonuses, any skills, all of that goes out the window, and that actually applies to both characters, uh, to both units. Uh, so I think of it as kind of like a, a weaker version of Nile, because Nile is just one way. I still have Nile listed here somewhere. Someone has it. Whatever. Uh, I will tell you that it is a like a separate command. Like you have an attack command and a parody command. Uh, I don't see how that's going to be of any help. Like I'm sure since it exists there must be some use for it. But uh, I honestly don't know what that use is. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm really tempted to give Volk that... Uh, that lethality skill, even though I don't want him to fight at all. Oh, there's someone with Nile. Alright. Negates enemies combat related skills okay so it's not Nile and parody aren't the exact same uh, but Nile only applies one way so that's what makes it so much better that's why it's worth 15 points um, mm -hmm. adept Two consecutive attacks. Uh, who could benefit from that? Lots of people could benefit from that, really. Um, I could give that to Mia. Uh, she's already a swordmaster and very fast and prone to uh, double attacks. But what if she got triple attacks? Or even quadruple attacks? That's... Nothing to sneeze at. Um, especially because it's similar to the Brave effect, where uh, the two hits will be consecutive. The enemy doesn't get to counterattack between them. Uh, what else did I get? I got Corrosion. That's right. Corrosion is... Um, to be blunt, uh, it sucks. It's it's useless. Uh, what it does is uh, there's a formula where it's like the unit's level, like the user's level, uh, divided by four. And if they're promoted, then that counts as uh, plus 20 for their level. Uh, so you take that number, their level divided by four, and when corrosion activates... It will lower the enemy's weapon uses by that amount. And the thing is, enemies don't really use weapons that have... Well, how do I put it? It's more like there aren't any cases where you're like, man, if only I could let the enemy's weapon break on them. Then I could finish this. Easily. It just doesn't happen. And worst case scenario with Corrosion is you could end up using it on a weapon that you actually want to get from the enemy. Because uh, in this game, when an enemies well wait 
How does it work? Usually when an enemy drops a weapon, they... Uh, the uses are... You stay the same, so you don't want to, like, weaken it. Weapons that they'll drop. Um, and in other cases, their weapon usage is irrelevant anyway. So as far as I'm concerned, there's just no practical purpose for corrosion. Uh... It would be so much more fun if I could uh, just throw skills around. Just see what happens. Uh, let's see, I've already talked about this, right? Deadeye just gives them double chance to hit, so basically a hundred hit. Uh, and puts the enemy to sleep? Just, eh. It's just not great. I don't know. Jill could probably make use of some of this. God, if I put Wrath on Jill... She'd be unstoppable. She'd be even more hardcore than, uh, than Nephany. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it as I get closer and, like, even closer to the end. Uh, let's do some... Leveling. Mia is really close to a level, so here we go, Mia. Okay, speed is good. Oh, there's Torneo. I realized what made Torneo so good, uh, coming with that resolve skill. Uh, if you put Wrath on him and somehow get his HP down to half, uh, you've got, like, an absolute beast on the battlefield. Because uh, remember, Resolve amplifies strength, skill, and speed by 50%. Uh, so just on his base stats, that gives him an effective 33 strength, 27 skill, and 19 or 20 speed. Uh, and that's attack speed, too. So I think odds are pretty good that he would double his opponent in that case. Uh, so he doubles his opponent. Uh, he's got 33 strength, which, is, again, is huge. Uh, skill being at 27 means that he'd have about 13, 14 crit base, you know, just at base. Uh, throw in Wrath, and that brings it up to, like, 63%. Uh, you could throw in, like, a Killer Lance on him. Uh, and make it, like, over 90% crit, effectively. And with that 33 strength just to start with, uh, uh, let's see, I think a Killer Lance, say it has, like, 10 attacks, so 43 attack crit basically every time. I mean, that's just... absurd. Um, we'll see. Right, we can buy some silver weapons. The thing is, I don't know if we really need to, if I can even make use of any. Um... No, they can't. Uh, Rolf definitely can't. Or, you know what? Boyd can. Um, let's... Let's see. I know I'm not going to need the Lagoose Axe. give Boyd a Silver Axe. He's put in some good work. He deserves a nice shiny prize. Uh, Mia is still not at A rank with swords. That is weird. Something about 
the way weapon experience is calculated in this game, I just don't understand. Uh, give those up. Energy drop. Strength. So there's a decent chance I'll put that energy drop on Ike, but I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, for reasons. Don't worry about it. Alright. But, uh, let's see. Silver Blade. Sword. Can't use it. Brave Sword. Again, Brave Swords, Brave Weapons are all B rank, which is, uh, weird, but it's cool. Uh, probably put that in there. That for sure. Uh, actually, yeah, it's just that brave swords aren't as strong. They're like they're just like in between uh, uh, steel and silver. But she definitely needs a new weapon. Since she is still a big girl, she can have another steel blade. Uh, let's see. Both. What do I want to do? And give up the Lagoo's bow. Do I have a longbow? Yeah, I'll take a longbow just to give him a little extra versatility. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, that's looking fine. Yeah, Alto, I guess they're all good. Uh, still can't use that tornado dome, but that's okay. Uh, oh, shots. Nothing that makes me think, oh, okay, you know what? We'll give her a vulnerary so she can heal herself if if the need should arise. Uh, and I guess it's... Okay, let's finally get started with the story. Uh... The Zelgius guy seems pretty nice. Oh, that was that was at the temple. How oh, many temple? Well, Mist, if the only three people besides your immediate family uh, are Titania, Alencia, and Nasir, and probably not Alencia, and probably not Titania, I mean, not to go Sherlock Holmes here, but uh, you know, once you eliminate the improbable. Or once you eliminate the impossible, uh, whatever is left, no matter how improbable, is your answer. Uh, anyway, here's this guy, Schaefer.
Words of wisdom from Mercenary Schaefer. Dyings for sissies. Stealing a baby from a poodle. Sabrina, hello. Yeah, this guy seems to... He doesn't take candy from babies. He takes babies from cradles. Um, can't say I'm a fan of that. Oh, he, he's doing the, the, the neck slicing thing. You just have to imagine it. I'm not going to try to make that sound because it's been ages since I've even attempted it. Uh, so please, just use your imagination. Oh, and he did it louder. Uh, you know, that's a good question. But this is also, like, the only real instance of it that I can think of. At least in this game. Uh, to this point. You just gotta think for a second. Uh, it's a trap! You just really gotta think. What the heck? Uh, let me just double check something here. For whatever reason, if I just turn on uh, enhanced cooling, uh, yes, this is Ike from Smash Bros. Uh oh, an unfair fight. Ike from enhanced cooling. This is what happens when multiple uh, thoughts compete in my head. Uh, what I was trying to say is that for whatever reason, uh, turning on like extreme cooling for my computer just stops the slowdown from happening. Uh, I don't get it, but it works, and I had not turned it on, so no more speed bumps. Oh boy. It's like the priests are uh, being coerced into this. Alright, uh, so first let's take a look at the, uh, the map itself. You can see all of these priests are here. Uh, I mean, you got some others, too, but you know, other enemies. The priests, let's just take a look at them real quick. Uh, they're all, like, super weak. They're all, like, level 3, uh, level 5. They don't have anything. Uh, this guy has an attack spell, and he is promoted, but... Uh, The priests are basically here to kind of mind their own business um, and just stand in your way. Uh, so that's that's relating to the hint we got for the start of the chapter. Uh, priests, if the enemies are in your way and you don't want to actually kill them, which you can because they are uh, classified as enemies, if you don't want to kill them though, you can just shove them out of the way. And the nice thing about them being considered enemies is that that means 
the real enemies won't target them. Uh, so it's really, really easy to get through this chapter without killing any of them. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we've got 11 units to choose from. Uh, who am I going to send? I think it's time... I'm going to let Marcia sit this one out, because uh, there are treasure chests, and I do want to be able to open them. Uh, so I need Volk. Khalil is really good, and I do appreciate her ability to wield uh, Siege Tomes and the two elements that I could not have Soren use. Uh, but is it redundant to have two sages? Where is Soren? Soren's... Uh, I do want Soren in. I need Soren in to build up his support with Ike. What else? What else? Uh, Rolf would be good because he's got the long bow so he can attack from further away. Uh, Boyd is just powerful so he can stay in. Um, I want to get Mordecai in so he can build his support with Mist. So he'll come in instead of Lethe. I think that's what I'll do. Uh, and that should be it. Yeah, it's good enough. We'll just, uh, just start the fight. So this is also a chapter where you want to limit how many units uh, you bring that can't shove. Shoving is, you know, it's vital to your uh, to your success in this game, in this chapter. So I'm just thinking. I mean, what I could do, for example, wait a second, that's a thief there, isn't it? It is a thief. I didn't even take. I didn't even think to look at uh, what the enemy's got. Schaefer's got a killer axe and he drops a killer bow. Uh, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. The guy does drop uh, a couple of chest keys, which will come in handy. Um. That guy drops bolting, which will also come in handy if I use Kalil more. That guy drops chest keys. Okay. All right. What I'd like to do uh, is take out that thief, like, immediately. Nephany can't do it here, but... I'll have her take out the sword guy. But Mist is uh, extremely good, so we'll just uh, do a little wind at this guy. We don't have to worry about that anymore. I can just shove him around. And this guy can uh, taste a little steel. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, that was extremely fine. <laughs> um, Mia is so good. Yeah, see, you can see here, the priests are extremely killable. They're just a, they're just a bunch of nerds, really. Uh, they don't deserve this kind of treatment they're they're getting. Uh,
The other thing about the priests is that they will not move on their own, uh, which helps a lot. We'll build up Storin's Winds stat, I think. I would like to get him that A rank tome. Because he is, uh, at present, he is my best candidate for it. Uh, hmm. Use that longbow. That won't be enough to kill that guy. That is, uh, annoying. Sure. It's annoying, but it's also not impossible. Rolf does have a decent crit rate going. We'll see. Hey, there you go. And he leveled up his bow skills, so that helps a lot. Uh, Boyd is going to show this other warrior what it means to throw axes. Hey, Rolf is good. Rolf, he really surged into, uh, into a good position. Uh, to be, uh, you know, useful. Let's see. I want to send Ike anywhere along. No, I don't. I also don't know where I do want to send him. Um... of the lance users up here which means uh void is just going to have a really fun time he'll be fine I don't know, maybe I'll just bait this uh, Poison Axe guy to attack Ike. That's fine. Was he just in range of bolting? Not that it matters. Buddy making a big mistake. All right, Boyd. Wow. Never thought I'd see the day when Boyd would have more resistance than uh, defense. Oh, hey, there's Ike's signature move, Aether. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, remember when I said I'm not going to need any, uh, any of my Lagoos, uh, weapons against, uh, in this chapter? I literally forgot that feral ones would appear. That's, uh, that's a bit of a complication. Uh, nothing I can't handle, though. I'll start with this chest. Why not? Silver bow. Okay. No one can use it, but, uh, it's never stopped me before. Um... 
I attack from here, I can use the long bow. I'll crit that time, but okay. I wonder if I can can't use physic from here. A little too much for him to handle. Um, let's take a look at the stats. 23 speed, 4 defense. Uh, that guy's got 18 speed, 23 attack. That guy's got 19 attack and speed. What I'm thinking here is I could totally have Soren go in uh, equipped with Elfire, and then he would be able to deal like a ton of damage uh, to the Lagoos. It's just that the Lagoos would probably deal a ton of damage back. Uh, 23 attack, 19 attack, so even take off four points from each of those, that is uh, 35 damage to poor Soren. He only has 29 HP, so I don't want to actually send him uh, to the front line in this case. But maybe if I can... Like, uh, Rolf will be able to handle it. Uh, 14 attack, so he'd take 9 damage, uh, and 5 damage, that, and he'd kill the guy with the bow. The guy with the bow would probably go after Boyd anyway, but uh, that side seems mostly fine for now. Uh, anyway. How are we going to do this? Nothing. Wonder. This actually would have been a better place to send Rolf with his longbow so he could uh, attack that sniper from range. Uh, but it's fine. Turns out Mia's pretty good at this. So, just, uh... Take him out like so. Can't quite reach with Nephany. Which is... We'll give that guy two, uh, two targets to, to worry about. Probably just... Have her go that way. Missed to go that way. You can't quite uh, heal Boyd from this range, but oh well. And yeah, we'll have Ike come here and just kind of. Uh, Give them a mean look. Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. Uh, Boyd is fine, even if he were to take that hit. I was a fool coming out from behind his human shield. Oh, bad move, kitty.
Ah, right. It's okay, this is fine. Um, everything will be fine. Uh, just watch. We'll go for maximum odds here and... Boom. Alright, decent enough level. Uh, makes her a bit tankier. I should have known that it would take a Swordmaster to uh, actually harm Mia. Uh, can just take this. Sleep Staff. Uh, okay. Don't have much to say about that. Hellfire. Massive damage. Hey, Soren got uh, a bit tankier himself. Not the tankiest I've ever seen, but... Uh, Kind of a big deal. Oh, that guy's crit is kind of high. I'm not a fan of that. Critical rate bonuses are great when... I get to use them. Uh, less great when the enemy gets to use them. Hey, an extra tomahawk. Uh, well... Let's send the hammer. We don't need the hammer. I don't have any more chest key. So I'm gonna have to leave Volk to do that. Uh... Rain javelins down on this guy. Ike will give this guy some steel blades. And restore his health, too. Thanks, Ike. And now he has A-rank swords. I can give him that... Uh, big honking silver blade. I feel like it. Uh, who should I? Yeah, we'll have mist back here. I don't know if anyone's in dire need of healing, but, uh,. Worst comes to worst, I could just, uh, can't get the kill that way. That's not frustrating. It's annoying. Um, not a whole lot of damage going on. Fine. Why is your skill so low? That's why she can't... He doesn't have any crit. Um, I'm not going to take that chance. I guess I'll just feed her some experience through this. Maybe she'll get an extra point in skill. Or maybe she won't get any stats at all, and that was just a comp complete waste of a level. Oh well.
Now he's making a big, big, big mistake. Oh. That was, uh, oops, that's a reset. I have not saved any states to this point. <sighs> Dang it. All right, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I... The units are loaded out the way I want them to. I am gonna go back. You know what? I'm going to give Volk... Uh, I'm gonna give him lethality anyway. I'm gonna make sure that he is equipped with the stiletto. Uh... Void to taking a hit is fine. Uh, just gonna do a little repositioning. I think I want Void to go roughly this way, or Rolf to go that way. Void is fine going that way. Uh, I'm not going to slaughter all the priests. I appreciate your gumption, but uh, it's not happening. Actually, I wonder if I should replace racing with someone. Uh, someone who can maneuver around a little more. Uh, maybe? No, we'll bring Khalil in. Uh, because she's got that sweet long-range magic. And I'm not entirely sure how useful extra moves are going to be in this particular case. It might be useful, but, uh... What's well, also useful is just being able to, uh... throw bolting at this guy. And we're also a meteor. We'll go with the meteor first. That is uh, to be expected. And take this guy out for one go. Oh, if only I had La Rochelle. Uh, she could single-handedly do anything and everything. La Rochelle the best. Uh, let's do quick counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, don't want to go that way just yet. Okay. Shove this guy. Travis Touchdown would also be good. He might be a little too OP. Mia can come in and uh, do what she do. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I do have a YouTube channel uh, where you can rewatch No More Heroes games. Uh, uh, the link should be kind of lower on uh, my Twitch page. I forget where exactly. It's somewhere. It exists, I assure you. Ooh, 
yeah, you, you know, feel free to uh, to follow that or or whatever. Subscribe to that. Uh, I use that channel well to archive playthroughs uh, that I stream. But I do have it set up with uh, nice and convenient playlists, uh, and I usually upload like the same day I stream. Uh, just, uh, just in case anyone ever prefers to watch a, a VOD uh, on YouTube instead of Twitch. I like to give people options. Uh, except this guy, I'm not going to give him the option of uh, surviving. I'm gonna kind of keep Jill or Mist kind of in the middle here, I think, uh, because as a mounted unit, she does not have the ability to shove anymore, uh, which does kind of limit her usefulness a little bit. Uh, I'm wary about sending Jill that way because that's a sniper right there. Oh, well, well, thank you for saying so. I I appreciate that. If you do want to see... Well, yeah, if you do want to see another cool playthrough, though, uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to do better than uh, Chip Cheesem. Famous in the... Uh, he's in the Let's Play world. He's like... The gold standard. Although the the, uh, the no more heroes let's play was not like the first thing he did, but it's very early, and there are probably some things about it that show its age. Uh, but he puts out great. Let's play content, so... Uh, it'll probably be fun to check out what he's done with No More Heroes. And then also, literally any other game he's played, he's Let's Played, uh, in Ironicus are great. They're fantastic. Okay, so let's see here. Uh... Should have someone. Well, okay. Where's the bolting guy? There he is. Well, he got healed, huh? That's just rude. Um... I can't believe that one of the priests actually has. Uh... Method of healing. Is he my favorite YouTuber? Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely up there. Uh, his production qualities are just incredible. I mean, like I said, like I said, gold standard. Um, what he usually does is uh, he uploads uh, two different versions of every update uh, with uh, cut commentary and uncut commentary so that when he and uh, his partner are talking over cutscenes you have the option of whether you get that extra commentary um, over cutscenes where other characters are talking, or if you'd want to focus on the story, uh, they have that cut commentary version for you. So uh, that part is really cool of them. A uh, lot of effort I could not imagine going through that myself, to be totally honest. Uh, 
Yeah, that's something he does uh, a lot. But I'm trying to think about when he started doing it. But he's been doing that for a long time. That is, uh, it's definitely really cool of him. I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna tomahawk this guy. But when he Let's Plays a game, uh, he does a really great job of showing off just about everything the game has to offer. Uh, that part is cool. Uh, gosh, I feel like I could gush about his work for a good while. Uh, He's also done games like, uh, he's done the Metal Gear Solid games, uh... Hmm. He's a big fan of Metal Gear Solid, so he's done all the mainline games, uh... I know he did Peace Walker as well. I think the only ones he hasn't really played uh, or done Let's Plays of are... Uh, what do you call them? What do you call them? Like the Metal Gear Acid games? The ones that were on PSP, were they like deck builders or something? Metal Gear Eddie. Uh, that, there are no Metal Gear Eddies, as far as I'm aware. Uh, true. Jill can't shove. Fight the conundrum. Although... Oh, well, good for him. Congratulations to him, uh, whoever it is. Let's see. Just thinking. Venom bow is weak. Longbow is also weak. How sturdy is Jill? Jill is pretty sturdy. She could take either of those bows and... Uh, I'm concocting a plan here. <laughs> okay. is my plan. My plan is I'm going to have... I'm going to have Mordecai smite this guy, push him all the way back. That way Jill can come in and... Uh, that guy has basically no chance. about that. Uh, 
avoid angry. Can't believe I didn't think, oh, the priest that can attack, I should keep uh, someone who could counterattack out of his range. Don't know why I didn't think of that. Thank God Jill missed her first attack. So I don't think there's anything against the rules about hurting them. But I would miss out on a pretty sweet prize if I let... Uh, had a girl, Mia. If I let any of the priests die, and I'm sure that applies especially for the one named priest. Okay. Uh, how am I going to do this? Uh, first of all, I'm going to heal Mordecai. He needs it so desperately. Then what I'm going to do... He, he kind of... He took a, a giant lightning bolt on the chin. Uh, he's still fine. He's still standing. Okay, now I have to make sure that Jill is not holding... Uh, a ranged weapon. In case this priest here gets any more funny ideas about trying to attack her. Oh, also I can I can just move her. Ike is in range, but uh He's a tough lad. Um, the other thing I could do is I could also just... Uh, I could just do this. There, now he can't attack anyone from his uh, standing position. Uh, that's a lot of damage, but... I'm going to focus a little more on raising his wind magic. Magic speed resistance, that's Soren. All right, now who uh, gets to be a victim? Khalil for bolting. I guess we'll just clear out that last use on this guy. It's fine. I'm just gonna steal anything from this guy? No. I can't steal equipped weapons. Uh, we'll just do this. We'll do this to give Nephany a chance at getting harmed, get her into the danger zone. A chance, just not one that she ended up taking. Well, ooh, we'll go kill her. That's the stuff. I just hate to leave an enemy on 1 HP. A level from Rolf this time. Go. Go to town with Mia. Alright. 
Everything should be fine. That guy's gonna get a heal, thank god. Uh, Mordecai. Ooh, I think he just got poisoned, too. Oh, he angry now. Let's see what Mordecai can do. He can... can't double these guys. The thing with Mordecai is that I haven't done a great job of... Uh, keeping him leveled, so uh, his speed is not very good compared to where everyone else is. These things happen, you know? Take this chest this time, spirit dust, uh, good for magic. I'll heal up Mordecai, though. Hulk does not have a healing item on. That is slightly worrying. I will give him Nephanes. Nephany doesn't need to worry about healing. Uh, to use that. I don't think anyone's posing a threat to him anymore. But better safe than sorry. Um, what's in this chest? That was the Tama. Okay, so get rid of that one for sure. Uh, we'll do at this range. Can't join the front lines. Um, Bill can take this. guy's got a killer bow in his inventory. I kind of want to be careful. That guy's got an L wind, which will do extra damage. Bill. Resistance is pretty decent. But, but we're looking at 21 to her 11. You know, killing Edge just uh, to be on the safe side. Well, that'll do it. Oh. Extremely gratuitous. Uh, wait, were those two different hit effects? Did I get a critical on his second ether? And... 11 magic, Ike, buddy, what are you doing with 11 magic? just wrong. Uh, okay. Where do we go from? I don't know if the boss will move. I feel like if he could have, he would have by now. Uh... Before I take any further actions, maybe I will save state right here. Because right now, the only one I'm even remotely worried about is Mordecai. Because I haven't been using him. He's gained, like, one level this entire playthrough. I don't want to do anything too rash. Just smite hit this guy and make kind of like a block of beasts there. Can't attack.
Yes, good. Please continue to heal him. Ah, another thief in our midst. Okay. Boyd says, get the hell out. This is my treasure. Uh, this chest here. What do we get? Nosferatu. Can't use it. And there's the sleep staff that I got before uh, I woke up from that very terrible and awful dream. This is kind of awkward. Because now I have to figure out how I'm going to uh, make some room. I don't know if there's like an invisible line for me to cross where suddenly the boss will start moving. Uh, suddenly, I'm wishing I had racing back in the lineup. Uh, worried I'm gonna check some numbers again uh, this guy's got a killer bow and 21 strength that means he's got if he uses his bow he has 30 attack uh, versus Mordecai's 16 defense so that's 14 damage if he lands a crit his crit is gonna be 38. It's going to stay 38. If he lands a crit on Mordecai, uh, Mordecai might die. If he doesn't die outright, because 14 damage, triple that, that's a, that's a 32, or 42. Uh, geez, and he would double. Okay. So I'm not going to put Mordecai in range of that guy. That's just not going to happen. I'm going to save state again. Because maybe I can at least have Mordecai take out uh, one of these mages. Like this Elwind guy. Well, that makes things a little more comfortable for me to send in Jill, except uh, I'm also still worried about uh, the guy with the killer bow. And I just need to, uh, to get Volk over to the other treasure chest so I can get whatever prize is in there. Okay, I can't... Well, he won't take damage, but he can't counter anyway, so that priest is fine. Uh, the mage going for Mordecai is also fine. Okay, boss does not move. That is extremely useful information. So that means what I could do is I could just kind of have Ike go in here that I can't really do anything about that crit unless I trick the guy into using the killer bow or just attack him at range. Uh, this guy also... 
these three all have spells. Which is, understandably, I would think, kind of annoying. Um, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, not ideal. Not good. Volganon. That is A rank fire magic. Good, but definitely not for anyone I can use. Anyone I'm currently using. Uh. Well, see, I want to attack the priest. Well, I don't want to attack the priest. That's the whole problem. Uh, I would like to have Khalil attack at range. Or have Jill uh, attack this guy at range. And then fly away. Uh, but if she does, that puts him her in range. Ah! Okay, so you, I guess you missed that part. So these priests are being forced to fight against their will. Um... They're not really fighting. Like, the the real guys that I'm fighting here, like Schaefer and the actual offensive enemies, uh, they're a band of mercenaries that uh, were hired by Dayan. So when Ike and the Crimean Liberation Army comes marching along, uh, he's like, well, shit they find us here, they're gonna kill us, so... Uh, Priest, you're our human meat shields now. And they're just... Yeah, so the priests are... They're in the way because they're being threatened with death if they don't get in the way. That's really what it amounts to. Um, just out of curiosity, what happens if Volk attacks? Volk could get this kill. That might not be a bad idea. I can't believe Volk is actually getting some combat in. Uh, yeah, the only thing slowing me down at this point is just the fact that I want to get that last treasure chest. That's it. This is the boss. Uh, his hit rate isn't great, but his critical rate is scary. Uh, he will one-shot Ike with a critical. So I'd, I really, really don't want to give him that kind of opportunity. Uh, the tricky part is that if I... Let's see, how much damage could he do again? That's with a triangle disadvantage. So I think he'd be doing about 12 damage with a bow instead. Well, 10 more hit. Well, actually his hit. He'll have 10 more base hit and then uh, I won't have the evasion bonus from a uh, triangle advantage. Just sending Ike in is itself a risky proposition. Um, I 
What I might do is try to finagle a way to get Jill in there. Uh, where these priests can't do anything. And then just have her like swoop in with uh, a lead-off attack and then have Ike come in afterwards. And I could honestly probably do something similar with Mist. Uh, but it will heal a big boy Mordecai. Okay, this time, Miss actually got a level. Uh, or got some stats when she leveled up, so that's good. Uh, Miss' only weapon is that Sonic Sword, which does kind of put a damper on things. I've created a row that I don't want to, to penetrate with anyone that has a ranged attack. Now, if I got Nephany in there, oh boy, now we're talking. But it doesn't look like that's quite in the cards. Or if I had Mia with her 66 evasion going there, uh, that would also help. Alright, so let's say I hand axe this guy. Odds are not great. Even at best, that's 22 damage. Leaves him with 29, uh, which I can't finish him off with. Uh, and then he doesn't even need that killer axe to really cause some harm to Mordecai, which is why I don't want to send Mordecai in to do it. Uh, I Sonic Sword this guy, the odds are better. Uh, they actually get more tolerable. Hmm. Alright. New plan. Save state. Uh, it's actually a moot point, though, because I have to wait until Volk gets to that last treasure chest. Okay. Move Mordecai here. Move Ike there. That'll just let the turns skip by a little faster. Hey, that'll help. Okay, it didn't actually help, but uh, there's our last treasure chest, Silver Bow. Okay. Now, once again, I'm going to save state. Because there's no point in doing those last few actions again. So here's, here's my game plan. I'm going to send in Mist. I'm going to let her 
do a sonic sword on this guy. Didn't work. Okay. I'm gonna have Jill uh, do a hand axe on this guy. That worked better, but not perfectly. commit to this uh, and we'll do a killing edge for maximum crit chance and just hope for the best or babies? Oh, Schaefer. Oh, you jerk. Uh, that's why you're dead now. Okay, so we pulled it off. This is our very special prize, the Ashera Staff. Uh, let's just take a quick peek at it. Uh, a staff that restores all HP to all allied units, as well as restoring their conditions to normal. Uh, you only get this if all the priests survive. Uh, that's why I went through all that trouble. Uh, this is the only way to get it. You can see it's an S rank staff, so uh, it is hard to use, but I believe Miss just hit S rank uh, before the end of the chapter. So now I've got this 3U staff for full heals to everyone just sitting in my back pocket. So we can just put that in the convoy for now. Uh, but you can imagine I will probably find a use for it at some point. So let's see why we were told to come here in the first place. We weren't given any uh, reason. We were just told by our traitorous friend Nasir to check this place out. Uh, but it looks like there's some... Writing on the walls? I don't know how Miss isn't seeing it, but, uh, okay. Maybe they are seeing it. This is kind of a... Uh, just uh, give him the rest of the day to uh, to take what he needs from this writing. Someone was locked in this room. Hmm. Well, 
No wonder he was so uh, entranced by it. began to come into the room. Had bluish hair and blue eyes. Hmm. Do we know anyone like that? Take a treasure and a song. Now threads are starting to get woven together. So I can miss mom was the young woman who came this room to take care of Rayson's older sister. Uh, you might recall that when uh, Rayson and Leanne, uh, his other sister, sang the the Galder of Rebirth to bring life back to Serenus Forest. Uh, at least I think that was at that point. Uh, Ike said something like, hey miss, isn't that the song that you always sing? And she was like, it's similar, but it's not quite the same. Well, it's a song that uh, that she learned from their mother. And, well, that's how her mother came to know the song. Her only problem is that yeah, the medallion itself has gone missing. Almost like all these threads are forming some kind of tapestry. They're gonna... girl named Altina. Hmm. Who is Altina? conveniently left out who it was that actually killed Vander Grail.
everything does uh, come back to Dayan somehow. say things are uh, getting real interesting right about now. <laughs> 